Head Lover and Stay Relic, aka Realtor Dave, end of May 2018. Uh, I'm shooting this video from my house today. Uh, I have a very busy day, but I wanted to get this video because I want to kind of get ahead of the, the stats that come out in the newspapers tomorrow. Uh, and the stats are going to be bad. And uh, the headlines are going to be bad, I assume, um, because what has happened is, you know, sales are, are way down. And even people may wonder, like, how far down? Here's the hard stats for you. I've seen this out to my client database uh, in the last little bit. But we're looking from the start of February to the end of May in Calgary, we're gonna end up at less than 6,000 sales. The previous low over the last 20 years was 2016 and that was 6,400. So the point being, we're gonna end up about 10% below the previous low for the last 20 years and we're running about 30% below um, the average of the last 20 years. So that is, those are massive numbers. Uh, if you're looking at detached homes uh, throughout May, you can add about a one in six chance of selling. And for apartments, uh, one in 10, uh, of course attached with a difference there. They're kind of about one in seven, maybe not quite a difference, but they're sort of a little bit harder than attached, but still easier than, than apartments. Um, so that's, those are the hard facts. That's sort of the bad news. Now let's, let's talk about the good news in all of this. One is that prices really aren't falling yet. Sellers are drawing a line, a line in the sand. And you know, this news doesn't really affect anybody unless you need to sell right now. A lot of sellers would like to sell, a lot of people would like to sell and move, but they don't have to. So they're holding steady on their prices. And then the fact of the matter is, if you price a property aggressively or slightly below what it's worth, only slightly, you still find it moves fairly quickly these days. Um, but the problem is for people who need to get a certain amount of money out of, an, of, of a place to move, um, they're definitely struggling these days. Um, for the buyers, buyers, it's not great news for me either. Obviously, they, they do have a little more selection, um, but I think what a lot of buyers are finding these days is that because there's so many listings out there, uh, other set potential listers, potential sellers, aren't putting their home on the market. And that means there's kind of a limited inventory, and the inventory that is out there is a little bit stale. And so, they, and then when a great listing does come on, like I said previously, it's slightly cheaper than it should be, or it's uh, you know, really well done, it's really well priced, they move quickly. So still, you know, we still see bidding wars here and there, and places selling kind of, uh, you know, off market or, or as soon as it comes on the market. So, you know, it's a tough market overall for everybody, but I think the biggest news, biggest thing I'd like to pass along, the reason I shoot this video is to, for everyone to remember, it's not the end of the world. Prices are not collapsing in Calgary, They're not collapsing in Canada. This is a government driven, um, downturn by putting in the stress test and we will eventually acclimatize to this the government government may eventually take it away and things will return to normal or, or whatever the new normal is but prices are not collapsing it's not crashing um, it's not a terrible time to sell your home you just need to be aware of what's going on uh, so any further questions on this one guys as always reach out to me 403-990-1278 or send me an email to daverethick at raymax.net thanks very much talk to you soon bye